In the past several decades, spaceflight has changed to meet our needs. There are different fuels being utilized, and the engines and their systems have become more high-tech in recent years. Are engineers making newer systems to allow us to travel faster through the solar system? Yes, at places like the Earth and Space Sciences Department at the University of Washington, engineers are working on faster rocket propulsion that will reduce cost and trip time. They are developing plasma systems that use electric and magnetic fields for acceleration. The Mini Magnetospheric Plasma Propulsion System, or M2P2, uses energy from solar wind to boost the onboard propulsion system while reducing power requirements. The system will create a large-scale magnetic bubble that harnesses the energy of the solar wind, thrusting the spacecraft at incredible speeds. Combining the elements of the M2P2 with high-powered beamed plasma sources, the MagBeam is a plasma beam system that utilizes large orbiting spacecraft to push payloads great distances with minimal energy requirements and cost. These systems are currently being developed and will provide the ability to travel in space someday with astounding speed and flexibility. NASA, along with several other research groups, are working on non-petroleum-based jet fuels. With fossil fuel stocks dwindling, they hope to make a more efficient fuel with safer emissions. They create synthetic fuels from coal and natural gas with the Fischer-Tropsch process. This process involves a chemical reaction where a synthetic gas, a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, is converted into liquid hydrocarbons. The resulting synthetic petroleum can be used as a lubricant or fuel. They believe that synthetic fuels create fewer particles and other harmful emissions than standard jet fuel. This could improve air quality around airports. <laughs>